Your fruits are waxed. Yes, you heard it right. Your fruits are waxed. And the interesting part is that the government of India, that is the Food Safety Standard Authority of India, allows the fruits to be waxed. So hi, I'm Ketra, I'm a food technologist and welcome to my channel, Make It Right. So today in this video, I'll be telling you whether waxed fruits are safe to consume or not. Why does the Food Safety Standard Authority of India allow waxed fruits? Is it bad for your health or what can we do with these waxed fruits? So keep watching. So before you leave this video, I'll make sure that all your doubts related to waxing of fruits, whether to consume it or not, and how to identify a wax fruit will be discussed in this video. So there are lots of videos surfacing around the internet, like where people start to scrape the skin of apple, where the white starts to discharge, peel the skin, boil the skin, to prove in all the ways that waxing of the fruits is bad for you. But as I said you before, the FSSAI allows waxing of fruit. So this clearly says that consumption of waxed fruit is safe for yourself. But here is a twist. It does not allow all the waxes to be coated on fruits. There are only few natural based waxes that are allowed to be coated on fruits. Few among them are bee waxes, carnivore waxes and the other one is shellac waxes. So these are basically obtained from bees, uh, bugs or palm tree extracts. So only these waxes are considered to be edible and safe and the rest of the any other waxes which are used are considered to be unsafe and not fit for cons uh, consumption. So this is where you got to be cautious about the waxing of fruits. So before I tell you how to identify a rightly waxed fruit from a wrong one, so let me tell you why does FSSI allows waxing of fruits. So the basic idea is that as much as your body needs waxing to keep it polished, shiny, even if fruits require them to be kept polished and shiny. So this is one among the reasons why the government of India allows waxing of fruit. Not only this, fruits tend to have natural waxes. So when they are washed and peeled and undergo other processing, they lose the wax. So the primary idea of the wax is that they act like a moisturizer or Vaseline. So they just protect the moisture inside the wax so that they stay longer and fresher and it's very convenient for transportation as well. A small example, funny example I would like to give is that um, in the movie Kushi, Vijay Devakonda went all the way to Kashmir to have fresh apples. So, but in my point of view, if those fruits were waxed properly according to the FSSAI standards, he could have had his fresh fruits in his hometown itself, isn't it? So this is the idea of waxing. Okay, so we've come to the interesting part of the video. How to identify a properly waxed fruit to an unsafe one. So all it's gonna take is gonna take only one minute to identify the right ones. So how do you identify it is that just look for the labels. A properly waxed fruit, that is which is according to the FSSI standard, must contain a label on the fruit or on the packaging stating that it is coated with wax along with the name of the wax given in the bracket. So this is the only method where you can guaranteedly find that it is properly being waxed. So I can hear you saying that Kitra, I find a polished super shiny and waxy fruit but there is no label on it. What am I supposed to do with it? So there are high chances of the fruit being waxed with a synthetical wax or the unsafe one. Usually the producers do it to make profit because natural ones are way far more expensive than synthetic ones. So the synthetic ones basically can be of petroleum based or mineral oil based waxes which when upon long term consumption may be cancerous. So that is when you gotta be aware and better not to buy the fruit. 
if at all it happens suppose a guest comes to your home with a bunch of kilos of apple to show you that they love you and you find it to be super shiny with the, without no labels that is when you got to peel the skin off or boil give a slight boil to those fruits so that the wax can be partially removed and it is not that hazardous for your health to consume so these are few methods why you can apply even if you buy a wax fruit but see that you buy only the government certified ones So is it okay to consume waxed fruits? Is it safe to consume waxed fruits will be the next answer. The answer would be yes. Waxed fruits are definitely safe to consume if they contain the label on top of it. So if you find the label, it's definitely a thumbs up to consume the fruit. So all that I would like to say in this video is that do look for labeled fruits if you are opting for a waxed one and try to locally source your fruits because the locally sourced fruits can be with without the waxes most of the time. Why do you want to look for like you know antioxidants and vitamins in blueberries when we have it in our amla? So this is one example of the power of locally sourced fruits where nature has given everything to us locally and naturally available for us. So do buy locally available fruits. So this is what I would like to say in this video. And if you like this video and find it to be very useful, do don't forget to subscribe, like, share, comment in my channel because it's going to motivate me to create more videos. And the important thing is that the food that we consume should be with trust and safety and not with fear. So this is what I would like to say. Bye-bye and don't forget to say what video you want next.